Thank you. Okay, you're on. Hi. This is Jeremy Collins. Uh, he created all of the artwork for the All Things Big and Small record, and he's going to talk to us about it. Hello, Big Bad World. Um, that's right, I'm Jeremy. And uh, we put together a record, and uh, it was pretty intense and pretty fast, and uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, I guess we're going to show you some of the original imagery here. Uh, the bird you see in the album was from a sketchbook of mine uh, from a trip to Norway. And of course, now I can't find it. Uh, here you go. Perfect. We'll look at it. Um, we tried to make it as um, honest, I guess is the word, and um, I didn't want to hear the music too much before concepting. I wanted to read the lyrics, because I felt like your words, uh, your written words were the content, you know? The singing and the production of the music was the realization of the content, and the content was the writing. Uh, so here's some of the uh, track names, we just hand wrote them uh, and uh, scanned them in and pieced it all together. Um, I don't know, what else do you want to see? Um, tell us how you came up with the, the color scheme and which images fit with it and how you went about making those decisions. Right. Um, well, you know, I got the uh, album title "Great All Things Great" or "All Things Big and Small," and um, so I tried to come up with a metaphor. And so we had the uh, big tree, a home, and small, the bird. And uh, so I instead would juxtapose those and have the small tree and the big bird. Um, the color scheme I wanted to be real soft, and almost floral. Uh, feminine, but st still would work for a, you know, my style. And, um, so we have a lot of watercolor washes and tape and uh, kind of a worn paper. And there's little fun little doodles here and there. On this great photo by Kelly Jackson that came in last minute. Just she always pulls it together. That's it.